chat GPT is finally here and you can sign up to it today for free and just start using the open AI. However, this is not the case for everyone. Some of you are currently experiencing an error message that's not allowing you to sign up. So we will be taking a look in this video at how you can resolve that issue so you can get onto chat GPT by the time you finish this video. So let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So as you can see, I'm on the ChatGPT website. If I go ahead and click on sign up, and if I now type in my email address, and if I go ahead and click on continue, and if I now type in a password, and then click on continue, I now get an error message saying that sign up is currently unavailable. Please try it again later. So let's see how we can resolve this issue. So the first thing that you're going to want to try is using a different web browser just in case it's an issue with the browser that you're currently using. Also, another thing that you can do is try using the web browser in a private mode. If you're not sure how to do this, just simply click on the three lines in Firefox, for example, and you will then see a new private window. On Chrome, it should say like incognito or something like that. Go ahead and open that up and then see if that works. Okay, so another thing that could cause issues is the servers currently being unavailable. Because ChatGPT is very new, the servers are currently getting very overwhelmed by the amount of users that are trying to currently access ChatGPT. So if there's an issue with the servers, then you're not going to be able to sign up. So what I'd recommend is you try signing up to ChatGPT later on if the next two methods don't help. So the next thing to try is using a VPN service if you have one available. You can then use this to change your IP and location and then try signing up again to see if it grants you access. So if none of the methods have helped so far, then the next thing that you want to do is just click back on the sign up button and you now need to click on continue with Microsoft account. You now need to type in your Microsoft account email address. If you don't have one, then click on create one and then create a free Microsoft email account. I'm going to go ahead and sign in now to mine. You then need to input your password for your Microsoft account. You will now have a message that says let this app access your info. So we're going to allow open GPT to access our Microsoft account. So we need to go ahead and click on yes. You now need to type in your name. So I've inputted my name and then click on continue if you're happy with the terms and the privacy policy. You now need to verify your mobile number so you can click on the drop down menu to select other countries. I'm going to input my number now. And once you have typed in your mobile number, click on send code. Once you have verified your mobile number, you will then enter into the chat GPT. So you can then go ahead and click on next and then next again. Obviously read this stuff if you want to. And then once you're done, click on done. And you can now begin to use ChatGPT by clicking in the send a message and you can then type in whatever you want. So for example, I want to know how to make cookies. So I'll just type in how to make cookies and then press enter on my keyboard. It's now going to give me the ingredients on how to make cookies. So that is it. That now brings me to the end of this video. If you would like to see me do more open AI videos, then click the subscribe button below and also like this video. So if you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.